Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending where you are watching from. I hope everybody is doing well, guys. It's morning over here. Good morning. So we are at it again, guys. Another video trending where Kura Obidis nanny came out with the little baby. And a lot of people have been talking about it, giving various opinion and advice. So I want to start with this. When I was growing up, my mom used to tell me, how many times will something happen to you before you will be wise, before you will learn your lesson? We used to think it's just a proverb or an adage. But as I begin to grow up, I now realize that, oh, this thing is really true. When something happens the first time, second time, you can say it's a mistake. Honest mistake. And everybody will accept it. But when it happens one, two, three there's no way you will continue to say is a mistake, is a mistake, is a mistake. She must have told the nanny that, look, my work is online. I work online. I always do live videos. I don't have time to take care of my children when I'm live because there's no way I will be on live with these children since they have restriction on the kids coming with me on live. This thing has been on for like some months now. So everybody is aware that the children are not allowed to come online. And I'm very sure before she employed that lady to be her nanny, she must have told her that, look, these kids are not allowed to come online. But it was so shocking when everybody saw this nanny coming on live video take a pack of spaghetti empty pack of spaghetti that was on the on the kitchen bench hit it on the kitchen bench just to calm the baby that was hungry and the mother was taking her time to prepare the food while she was on live so maybe this nanny was like, this girl is hungry. What is taking the mother time to prepare this food? Let me go and see how far she has gone. And the nanny decided to come out and she hit the empty pack of the spaghetti to calm the baby. And then she brought the baby to the life. And she said, hello, 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 baby. Hello, Greek Athena, greet everybody. Hello, hello. And people are still saying, oh, it was a mistake. You did mistake the first time. Did mistake the second time. Did mistake the third time. After knowing what the court rule says. I'm so surprised. Because... The way we do things in Nigeria is not the same way we do things abroad. There's what they call laws guiding us. And these laws are effective. It's just like, let me tell you, when you are driving on a residential area and that residential area has this 50 sign and that residential area says, on this road, you have to drive 50. And a cop is just parked by one side of the road. He has his camera watching. And you come and pass 56 or 55. Do you know that that, that 55, no matter what your excuse is, they will tell you, you have to pay a fine. 
have paid a fine for over speeding. I have paid a fine. If this area is 50 and you you drive 55, 56, 60, 62, you will pay a fine. If you go to a traffic light and the traffic light say red, stop. Everybody must stop until it's turned green and it says go and you go. There's no flimsy excuse. There's no need to say, oh, I'm sorry. Um, I, will, I, will, I didn't know. You already know the rules. So there's nothing like it's a mistake. It's a honest mistake. Honest mistake first time, honest mistake second time, honest mistake third time. Last week, you came out and was complaining, June is not understanding. Because that is your source of income. You forgot that these children are just a baby. These kids are babies. No matter what you tell a kid, if they need their mom, they will cry. They will say, I need mommy. I need to see mom. And that will prompt them to want to come out and see what is mommy doing. How many times have we seen Dr. Justin Dean making all these excuses and coming out to tell us it was a honest mistake? It was a honest mistake. Whenever he is with the children, he stays away. He put them away. When the children are gone, he comes on life. Dr. Justin Dean has a nanny too. And now, you went to get a Spanish woman who doesn't even understand English. And you have to use translator to translate. Now, what happens when you go out to do your work and this woman is with the children and these children speak English? How is she going to be communicating with these children? They'll end up being frustrated and they'll be crying because they are not getting what she's saying. I don't understand in the whole of America, there are people you can employ if you really want to pay them. But when you want cheap article, then that is what you get. Honestly, this thing you guys keep saying is honest mistake, is honest mistake. The judge wouldn't listen. By the time Dr. Justin Dean want to fight back and say, this woman is not capable. I want my children. She will come out again and cry. But you are doing these things that you are not supposed to do. And you keep saying it's a mistake. It's a honest mistake. It's a honest mistake, for goodness sake. You guys need to advise her. Because when people give honest advice, they come to you and start trying to report your page and do all sort of things to your page. But social media is not for one person. It's for everybody. We all have right to air our opinion. And that is why no matter how they keep blocking people, people will continue to talk. Anyway, I'll end my case here and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.